So on this recipe Wednesday, we're getting some ideas on how to make a great burger. Shannon Smith joins us from the Catherine in Winston-Salem. So let's build the best cheeseburger possible. We're turning to Chef Danny Tippett here at the Catherine to talk about your tips to cook the best burger. You're starting with a meat and a hot grill. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. So how are we getting this going? Uh, so first off, we want to definitely start with a hot grill. And what I have here is this is an 80-20 ground chuck. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one of the blends that I like to use personally. I wouldn't go any uh, less than an 80-20, maybe 80-15, 85-15 is fine. Uh, you need that fat. Yeah, right? I get, that makes it juicy, right? Yes. And you're and throwing seasoning on before. Before. So I have just some regular salt and pepper. Don't need to get too fancy. Nope. You don't need to get fancy. Okay. That goes on. I noticed it's a pretty big patty. You want to make it a little bit oversized. Yes, yeah, so I like to go a little bit thinner and a lot wider than the bun itself. The burger itself is going to shrink due to the fat. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I don't like that little baseball. Yeah. <laughs> baseball burger yeah, in the, in the this inside of a big, big bun. poof in the middle with, yeah. yeah. So this is how it's going to end up being kind of the size of nice char marks on the outside how do you deal with flipping and cooking the burger on the grill uh so i think it's actually important to just leave the burger cooking for a while because you want to get a good char gotcha uh, it doesn't matter how many times you turn it doesn't matter how many times you flip it just get a good char yeah if you do two or three minutes turn it two or three minutes flip it two or three minutes you should be fine got it okay and then i noticed you got a brioche bun over here which is my favorite you're also going to make sure you throw that on the grill for a couple of minutes. Yes, yeah, so I, I think it's very important to toast your bun. Burgers are juicy. You don't want your bun to get soggy. Right. Yeah. So you've toasted that off. You've got your burger and then cheese on the burger. How do you handle that? So what I have here is our smoked Gouda pimento cheese yes. that we make. And I'm going to actually melt it down in our broiler. Okay. It's going to give it a nice toastiness to the top. So you could do this part in your oven if you wanted to, instead of on the grill, melt the cheese on yes, under your you broiler. Do, you can do this in your broiler. However, if you want to do it on your grill, if you want to get that nice medium, 140, 145 degrees, just make sure that after you say you flip your burger and you've received that, you got that nice char. That one looks while perfect. It, while it's still cooking, go ahead and put your cheese on now. Ah, and then it just kind It'll of- It'll start to melt without overcooking your burger. That is a great idea. Well, this is gonna be delicious. He's gonna throw that on there, melt that cheese a little bit. We've got the bun, but you got a whole lot more toppings you're gonna put on this burger for us, right? I sure do. Bacon, jam, lettuce, tomato, all the good stuff. We've got that recipe coming up in just a little bit. You're lucky I'm here because I almost ran out to get one of those burgers watching <laughs> that. You can find that recipe and a whole bunch more on our website at myfox8.com under the spotlight.